Hello. So we are in my downstairs bathroom because I'm going to show you what I did to derail my cleaning efforts for almost an entire day. So I'm trying to redo this bathroom so it has kind of like a nautical ocean theme. It's very boring right now, except for that up there, which is, I don't even know if I like where I hung that. But so I found um, these pictures in the dollar store and I busted out the hot glue gun and I edged them in rope and I added all the rocks and there are three of these. Here's the other one. There we go. Okay, isn't that pretty? That's a, yes, pretty. Anyway, um, so I did that. And then I wrapped my soap dispenser in rope. Okay, I also painted a fish. It's a soap uh, tray, which we don't even need in here because we have the dispenser. And then I 3D printed this hook and painted it. And I'll put the Thingiverse listing in the description if y'all are interested. I love how it turned out on this side. <laughs> this is the side where the support was. I then heated it up with a torch and smoothed it out with my finger, which hurt, but beauty is pain. And I love the way that texture came out. I love that side more than I love this side. So one hook, we need more hooks. Um, I think what I might do is open up the model and see if I can apply a similar texture to this to the other side. So I like it from both sides or, Instead of following the instructions and orienting the model like this on the build plate, I'm probably going to print it like this, and then our support structure will be here. So when it's hung on the wall, nobody's really seeing this, and I'll be able to smooth it out, sand it. But I do love how that turned out. So this is what we did instead of cleaning the garage. The struggle is real. So after... Editing the last video, the ending sounded like a cry for help, which it probably is because of where I'm at in my life right now. Um, ignore that. I'll try to keep the channel more positive. I did learn that there are some things I need to work on to make me more watchable. So I'm going to work on that. I also learned that barriers to posting the videos are needing to edit caring what people think about me, worrying about my hair, my flappy bat wings. I lost a bunch of weight. So there's stuff flapping all over the place. The chins, the angle, the zits. So I'm trying to, at 40, almost 43 years old, I'm trying to care less what people think because it holds me back. Wish me luck. It's hard. It's hard to put yourself out there. And I've had so many ideas for YouTube channels and I've had so many channels that I've started, posted like three videos, but it takes so long to shoot and edit them all and then edit them down to a point where I'm comfortable with people seeing me and judging me. And it just, the project just derails and fails, right? So with this one, I'm going to try to care less about the little things like the bat wings and the chins. So we're going to try to focus on 3D printing more and less cries for help. But I just wanted to check in and let you guys know what I was working on. There is a 3D printed element in this video, so you're welcome. I'm going to post this with my phone and I'm going to try to do minimal editing in there. I think CapCut maybe. Somebody said that's a good one. Um, if you have suggestions for me in the comments below, those would be appreciated for iPhone editing stuff. Um, also, I want one of those little mics that you wear. Um, I know, <clears throat> I know people don't like hearing road noises as I'm driving down the street and recording. So I'm thinking one of those little wearable mics, um, if you can even use it with your phone, I think that would be helpful. So any suggestions? I'd appreciate it. All right. Thanks for watching. Until the next one.